In this video, you will understand the basic roles and responsibilities of a topographical surveyor in construction and in civil engineering. Topographical surveying is a specialized area of land surveying or geomatics surveying. The professionals involved in topographical surveying measures, maps, and analyzes the natural and man-made features of the land. Let's briefly look at examples of natural features and man-made features of a land. Let's start with natural features. Natural features of a land are the physical appearances created by nature that outline the landscape, terrain, and the environment. A topographical surveyor will draw these features by representing them on paper to give an accurate picture of the site's existing conditions. Examples of natural features Number 1. Terrain and Relief these are hills, valleys, ridges, plateaus, slopes, and contours. Number two, water bodies. These are rivers, streams, lakes, ponds, wetlands, marshes, estuaries, coastlines, and shorelines. Number three, vegetation and land cover. These are forests, woodlands grasslands, individual large trees, or hedgerows, farmland, and natural clearings. Number four, geological features. These are rock outcrops, cliffs, boulders, soil types, and sand dunes. Number five, surface drainage patterns. These are natural drainage channels gullies, watersheds, and catchment areas. Number six, other landform elements, such as depressions or pits, natural embankments or levees, islands or sandbars. These features are crucial because they affect design decisions. For example, a steep slope may need retaining walls. A river may require a bridge. A soil type or a rock type influences foundation design. Next, man-made features. Man-made features of a land are the artificial or constructed elements created by humans that changed the natural landscape. A topographical surveyor will represent these man-made features alongside natural features to give a complete representation of the site. Examples of man-made features Number 1. Buildings and structures. These are houses, apartments, commercial buildings, bridges, dams, towers, and monuments. Number 2 transportation networks. These are roads, highways, railways, runways, footpaths, pavements, circle tracks, and parking lots. Number three, utilities and infrastructure. These are power lines, pylons, substations, pipelines, underground cables, water supply systems sewage networks and drainage systems. Number four, boundaries and land division. These are fences, walls, gates, plot boundaries, hedges, and retained walls. Number five, agricultural and industrial features. These are irrigation canals, drainage ditches, wells, reservoirs, silos, factories, warehouses, quarries, and mines. Number six, recreational and civil elements. These are parks, playgrounds, sports fields, roadsides with lighting, benches, signposts, cemeteries, and landscape areas. You can see that natural features is simply what nature provides, like rivers, hills, forests, and so on.
while mammal features is simply what humans build or modify such as roads buildings power lines and so on both natural and man-made features are represented on a drawing and the completed drawing work is known as a map that is a drawing map for that specific land or for that considered site some people misunderstand survey map and usually compare them to a country map or to a world map on this map the surveyor will also provide accurate data about the land terrain, the land boundaries, the land elevations, and existing site land conditions. They will also provide a base plan that architects and engineers use for design. Architects and engineers rely on this topographical land map to help them visualize and understand the land features, elevations, and many more, to plan how to place the proposed structure or the proposed building on that site. This survey map will also help to plan for the direction of road access to the building. In addition, the architect doesn't want to draw a building plan that could encroach into a neighbor's property or put up drawings that does not align with the regulations of the local authority. Other roles of a topographical surveyor are to provide accurate data about the land terrain, the land boundaries, the land elevations, and existing site land conditions. This is crucial important for planning, design, and execution in construction and civil engineering projects. Topographical surveyors create land and site mapping by creating detailed topographical maps. As we mentioned earlier, they represent land contours, slopes, natural features like rivers, trees, and so on, and existing structures like roads, utilities, buildings, and so on, to depict the shape and features of the land. They provide a base plan that architects and engineers use for design. Architects and engineers rely on topographical land surveyors to provide them with survey drawing before they start their design and drawings. These help architects to understand the size and area of the land, the road direction, and also it helps the engineer to understand the drainage and underground system in the area, even in the design of the foundation. Topographical surveying, which is a specialized area of land surveying, helps in establishing boundaries. They define legal property boundaries to avoid disputes. They mark out plots for construction according to land ownership and planning regulations. They also help to supply accurate elevation and terrain data to civil engineers and architects. They help determine suitable locations for roads, drainage, foundations, and utilities. They also help in setting out, that is, the construction layout. When the architect has completed his drawings, the surveyor transfers design information from plans onto the ground and will also help in staking out positions for foundations, roads, and utilities. They also ensure that construction follows the exact dimensions and coordinates of the design. Surveyors also help in monitoring and quality control of the project by checking for deformation of structures during construction. This is checked again after the construction is completed. They also track ground movement and settlement. They verify that completed works match the design specifications. In infrastructure projects, these surveyors provide essential data for highways, bridges, dams, tunnels, railways, and urban development projects. They assist with selecting road directions and earthworks calculations in cut and fill volumes. 
topographical surveyors make use of GPS, total stations, drones, LIDAR, and 3D scanning for high accuracy surveys. They process data with specialized computer-aided design software, CAD, and Geographic Information System, GIS software, for design integration. In short, a topographical surveyor is the eyes of the project. They measure, map, and monitor the land that engineers and construction teams can design and build safely, accurately, and efficiently. Topographical surveyors also create detailed three-dimensional representation of the terrain, which will include the natural and man-made features. This data is critical for site planning, engineering, and architectural design. The role and responsibility of a topographical surveyor on a construction site is very essential in pre-construction, which is during the planning and design phases. The detailed map provided by the topographical surveyor will be used by the engineers to design the building foundations, plan for proper drainage, and determine how to grade the land. This survey helps them understand challenges like slopes or hidden waterways that may affect the design. Their role is also very important during the construction phase. They are called back to verify ground elevations for grading and to check that utilities are being installed at the correct depth. For example, a topographical surveyor's map would show a civil engineer exactly where to place a drainage ditch to divert water away from a new building preventing future flooding issues. Check out the link in the description and in the comment section for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video.